Hey guys, Capper here, and the time has finally come to hopefully finish up the top of this ham radio antenna tower. So what my plan is, I have this uh, inch and a half uh, plumbing pipe. It's super heavy and it's got threaded ends, okay? And I have a 10 foot piece, two three footers, and one or two 24 inch pieces. All right, and this is exactly inch and a half inner diameter galvanized, all right? So it's not really fitting, but it will fit. Um, so what I have to do is I have to unbox the new chop saw, cut some pieces, and I'm gonna grind down and lube one up and get it through here. The whole idea is to have a super snug fit in here. Kinda once you get it in, you ain't getting it out or at least for this base piece, but that is why the top piece is gonna be threaded. And from here, you're gonna see the antenna array. I'm gonna be able to mount at least three different antennas up here. So let's get started. Let's put it to work. Step number two. Okay, so this is a tiny bit more snug than I thought it would be. So since I'm having back surgery anyways, in the not too distant future, the doc said I really can't mess it up a lot more. So I uh, ground down the end to get it a start and I hit it with grease, uh, white lithium. Let's see how it goes. Try not to ruin these threads. You get a wrench. Okay, so I made a very bad tactical mistake. My plan was solid, but what I did was I failed to screw this on all the way snug. And so as I'm pounding it, it's kind of vibrating loose in that, so it ruined those threads. So my, uh, my joint, I'm going to see if it fits on there, and if I can get it started on there, I could tack weld it and it'll be okay. But if I got to cut them threads off and like weld another set on, it's not going to be as totally sturdy as I thought it would be or I want it. Uh, this post is all the way down right to this uh, set nut. And it ain't going anywhere, so that, I'm, I'm okay with that. Even though I don't get it down there, uh, this is definitely seated in there. I could throw a tack weld or put a couple set screws in there and that'll be fine. So, let's see how the first joint goes on them threads. That's going to be trouble. Well, it might work after all gets into the good couple threads that are left. Although it may not be straight from here up, that's one possible side effect, but let's take a look. And I wanted to put pipe tape in, I meant to, but I don't think I gotta worry about this one going anywhere. Actually, not bad. I just got to be careful not to break it. <sighs> ah, this is what you learn when you experiment. I mean, it looks like it might be off just a tiny bit. I'll let you take a look. Okay, there's a look from the side. 
Now from here it looks pretty good. I, the only thing I think is it might possibly be bent down just a hair. Okay, so now I have to jigsaw puzzle the rest of this pole. All right, so I have the main pole here that has threads on one end and not the other. And so my original plan is the two, the two 36 inches were gonna come as offshoots, okay? So they're gonna stick out this way. And the 24 inch gets cut in half, okay? So you got your three footer here and then you got a one footer up where your antenna's gonna mount. But I just gotta make sure I get all the threads right so that the uh, the top end is the only one left without a thread so I can put the puzzle together. That's how they're supposed to thread on. I'm a little worried on that, but I mean, I guess the worst thing is that they'd fall down and wreck the antennas and put a hole in the house. I don't think it'll be that bad. <clears throat> All right, time to refund. Okay, the next piece of the puzzle is in. Somehow I miscalculated my vision while I was in Menards buying all this stuff, so I'm missing one threaded end. So my solution was to put one of my three footers in there next and I'm going to have to go back and buy another three footer. So it's going to be the three footer, then another joint going that way. And then on top of that three footer is going to be the rest of the 10 footer. And I may shave it down a little just because I don't want to get too top heavy. But uh, I mean, this thing is secured in all the way on this tower support. So and you know they have this lock nut right here which is where the base of this iron pipe is and they don't have i was going to put a seat down here and tie it in there to really give it more stability but i couldn't just i couldn't get it all the way through without wrecking the rest of those threads so let's keep moving okay so what i decided i'm going to do here uh, this is a little bit off, so when you look down this whole bar, it's it's cocked down just a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it and get it uh, as straight as I can. And then I'm going to weld this and I'm going to resupport this where these uh, weaker threads are from pounding. Mistake, but when you got a shop, you could fix it the best you can. So I just have to be careful you know, bending this, it ain't gonna take a whole lot. tiny smidge more. It's also kind of an unofficial test on them hint on them uh, threads to put my 140 pounds on there. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Now who's your daddy? Now she's, I mean, as straight as a, a micrometer. My eye shoots so straight. Yeah, the guys that have been around know I'm full of shit, but hey, it is as straight as it can be. I don't know if I need welds or not, but let me think on it for a minute. Okay, I decided, I uh, googled it, and galvanized, or a welding galvanized pipe is not a big deal. It's basically the exact same. The galvanizing just burns off into like some white powder. Of course, you don't want to breathe it. Um, you saw me jump on it, and it was 240 pounds. But I, I'll feel a little better with a nice heavy weld on there, just to really connect them to in case those threads are a little bit weak yet. And I may not even be able to walk back to the house after all of this up and down because she's getting tight already, but I'm making some good progress.
prettiest thing, but I'm going to put a couple, two, three of these on. And I think that's going to be the end of this. Okay, so I ended up doing a third one, so I got them on all three sides. That one turned out the best out of all of them, so uh, I think we'll be good to go. I feel a lot better with them three welds on, and I mean, this is really heavy pipe, which is why I used it. Well, so, okay, so I'm pretty much out of room here in the heated shop, and now it's time to take it out in the cold garage here. Okay, I decided not to come up much more on the height. I just don't want to push my luck. So right now I got three, six feet roughly. And I'm gonna probably add another three because uh, there's a lot of antenna going on the top of this yet. Um, now if I would have been able to finish pounding it through and tie in a support down here, then yes, absolutely, I could sneak more height out of it. but. Being that it's only, and that's the way it's designed. You could see all they have is one, one lock on there. So, I mean, they don't have from the factory any more support. So this is the way it's designed. Um, however, I don't know the specs on how, how much higher you're supposed to go above that. So I'm gonna just probably put one more two or three foot section on the top and I'm gonna have to get another three footer but now you can kind of see here so this is gonna have a um, another elbow here like this and then another one out that way so I could put one two and then on the top three different antennas so that's it for today man my uh, foot is killing me my back is killing me but at least I got a start on this thing so stay tuned